Yeah, hi, this is Victor again. And today I want to show you how you can make a Peruvian style barbecue ribs. You know, it's almost 4th of July, so, you know, people start to do barbecue in here. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change a little bit the recipe. I'm going to make like a Peruvian style. So for, for this recipe, I want to need um, panca paste. In this case, I use it, I use Anaheim chilies. So what I'm going to, I boil it because they come in dry, so I boil it, cook it, and after that I'm going to blend it, so I, I'm going to make the paste. Um, panka sometimes is very expensive. So anyway, so um, you have salt in here, oil, two or three tablespoons of cumin, one cup of dark beer, and a little more if you want, a quarter of the cup of uh, red wine vinegar, half an onion, and half a bunch of cilantro, three cloves of garlic. What I'm going to show you right now is the easy way to cook the ribs uh, in water. So later on, I want to show you how you can boil it in water. Um, I want to proceed to start to do the panka paste. And after that, I want to add all the ingredients in the, in the blender. And I want to make like a marinade. Uh, I, half of the marinade is going to be for cooking in the uh, pot. So now you can see I already blended I already made my paste, my own paste. So, um, so I'm going to add the beer, the garlic, vinegar. The onions is going to be used for boiling the, uh, the boiling the ribs when I cook it in oil. You know, when I cook it in the water, and the cumin, maybe uh, two teaspoons of cumin. One, two. You know, um, a little bit of oil so we can make the marinade. And the cilantro. And a lot of salt, you know, you can put maybe like a four, three tablespoons of salt. See, put a lot of salt because when you cook it and the marinade, uh, the meat absorbs the salt. So it's going to give more flavor to the, to the meat. So right now I want to proceed to blend it. So like I say, half of the uh, half of the marinade is going to be to boil the ribs. So I have a pot in here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put maybe like two cups of water. Uh, I'm going to put the half of the marinade in the pot. So what I did is I put the uh, the ribs in the pot with the marinade and two cups of water. And now I want to start to cook it, maybe uh, for one hour and 15 minutes, at low medium heat. Check it out once in a while you know, uh, with um, try to flip it up the, the, uh, the ribs in the middle of the cooking, so they can cook even. Um, with the, with the meat is out the bone, the, the ribs are going to be ready. So the other, the other thing, I separate some of the marinade. So what I'm going to do, half of this, I'm going to put oil in there, and I'm going to grill it in the barbecue. So now, it's already past like a one hour around there and the ribs are already done. So I want to show you. So what the ribs are done is because they are separate from the bone. You know, the meat is separate from the bone. So you can see it. See the bone is already loose. So the meat is, the, the, the rib is completely done. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to cool it down a little bit, put the uh, marinade, and I'm going to show you how you can grill it, you know, I mean, in the, in the barbecue. So the ribs are already in the fire, so what I'm saying, you know, I mean, I want to cool them down a little bit before I start to grill it. But in the meanwhile, I want to put the marinade. So it's going to be more flavor in the ribs when they, when, when they are in the grill. So you can see it. I can put the marinade in there. And in a little bit, I want to show you the real how they can cook and after that i want to serve it 
So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to grill the, the ribs for like a, maybe five minutes in each side so they can be warm and we can serve it with, uh, what I'm going to do it right now, I'm going to bring some potatoes too. So I want to serve it with potatoes and a little bit of rice. So now what I'm going to do, I want to proceed to serve the ribs. So what I do right now here, you know, I mean, it's a little bit of sauce from the ribs. So I want to make it shiny. I want to use a little bit of rice because I, you know, today I didn't have corn, but I, was, I recommend you to serve it with corn. You know, with a steamed corn, it's very good. Corn in the cup, it's very good. See how? how the ribs are going, you know what I mean? How the knife is going because the ribs are very, very good cooked, you know what I mean? They are perfectly. So like I recommend you to you guys, you know, uh, one hour in boiling water, you know? And after that, what you can do is put the marinade in there and grill it, you know, for like maybe five minutes each side. And the, and the, and the ribs are going to be good uh, already. And because, the flavor of the grill is going to give you, you know, like a barbecue. So this is the sauce in here. I uh, hope you guys enjoy these ribs from Peru. You know, Peruvian sauce, it's very good. So maybe put a little bit of cilantro on top, you know, chopped cilantro. But I hope that you guys enjoy. Happy 4th of July to you guys and be safe. Take care guys, see you next time.